When he left the apartment, was Harsano, was he, was he conscious? Was he awake? Uh, he was conscious. He was snoring. If that means anything, I don't know if they do that before the body shuts down. But he was making snoring noises. Like, mm. like he was literally doing that with his, you know, I don't know if that's because he was dead or his body, brain shutting down, but he was snoring. He, he was alive when we left. He was alive when you left? Yes, yeah. he was snoring. Okay. Welcome to AMC Investigations. We put out videos like this every week, so if you are a fan of consistent content, consider subscribing. I would like to give a shout out to all of our members. Thank you for the support to keep this channel going. We will be putting a lot of extras on our Patreon as well. For those interested in more of a deep dive into some of these cases, the link is in the description below. The best way to support this channel is to like and subscribe. It is free, it's easy, and it really does help the channel a lot. Okay, enough rambling, let's get into it. June 4th, 2017, Aurora, Colorado. When neighbors called 911 after hearing a disturbance in the apartment next door, police arrive on the scene to find 61-year-old Indonesian man Harsano Harsano bleeding profusely on the floor. Harsano was Brad Baker's host home provider. There was a, quote, scene of destruction around him, end quote. The furniture overturned, blood spatter on the walls and the floor. Harsano was taken to the hospital but later succumbed to his injuries. Neighbors said that Brad Baker, the subject of this video, was seen leaving in Harsano's van with another person, later learning that that person was 24-year-old Bobby Chapman. If you missed Bobby's interrogation and Brad Baker's first interrogation, the links are in the description below. Here's the second interrogation of Brad Baker. But first, let us have a moment of silence for the victim in this case. Bobby saw it, he would be able to call the cops on Arsono and be a witness. But we talked, we didn't, but yeah. I just didn't want to, we weren't thinking about that at the time. But, but I didn't want him getting hurt either. You know? Sure. Like, I don't, he's my best friend, and I don't want to get him into that shit. Okay. I don't, like, he, I don't, he's a hard sleeper, and I'm a light sleeper. But if Harsono goes into his room and I'm asleep, I'm bound to not wake up. There's only alarm on the front door, and Harsono doesn't even notice that most of the time. Huh. But um, he doesn't. Uh, I, I even asked him, I said, do you know if the alarm's on the front door? He said, no. And I was like, you really don't understand that front door open. It says it every fucking time we walk in. And it, like, that's literally what it says. It's like a security for the apartments. Uh -huh. I don't know how that turned it off because, like, it already says deactive, which that means it's off, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not off. Huh. It's just fucking, like, fried or something. It, like, it doesn't, it's not loud like it probably used to be. It's probably, like, the battery's dying and it's just stayed on. I don't know. <laughs> but what was I going to say? Um, fuck that. So I'm just kind of loopy, I'm sorry. No, you don't have to apologize yeah, to me. I'm thinking logical, though. Okay. I know, I know that I have a right to protect myself. Like, it's make Whether you, whether you're making your daylight by a gun, or with your fist, or with a knife, you have a right to protect yourself. And he had a, he had, he's been putting knives to me, he lifted up a chair and threw it at me. And then ran, like walked, that, what I wouldn't really call it walk. I was like jogging slowly towards the lamp. He lifted it up and threw it at me. One second. That's why I got these cuts right here. Okay. One second. I have more. One second. Right there. Right there. He look. I he threw the lamp at me. The glass just shattered all of my hand. Thanks. I literally had to use a water bottle when we took his car and fucking wash it off at the at the gas station. Huh. Like, like I'm. What gas station did you guys go to? I have no idea. I know it was by the house. I have no idea what it's called. It's like a generic like corner store or some type of deal. I don't know what it's called. It's not like 7-Eleven or Conoco or Shell where everybody knows what it is. Okay. Or like fucking, um, what, what, um, 
like Eclair, mm-hmm. Sinclair, that's what it is, yep. Sinclair. Or, I, I, I'm not going to keep going to gas sta- in the gas stations, but it's not like a place, it didn't have a gas or anything, it was just a corner store. Like, I don't, there was a gas station across from it, like on the other side, but we were parked by the corner store. I don't know quite where it's at, because it was dark out. It was right by the house, though. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we were, he, he, he felt threatened. He wasn't just going after me, and Bobby knows, he, Bobby has my back. Like, Bobby, like, Bobby wasn't to blame either. That's why I tried to keep him out of trouble. That's why he's not in jail right now. Because I test, I practically testimony against him, so he didn't go to jail. Literally. I didn't say anything about him. I said he was a witness. I didn't want him going to jail, but staying in jail. But I, I didn't really take the blame, but I just... Yeah, yeah. He's at my back, and I. He wasn't really. He was. He was just there at the moment. He wasn't. He was just there to get his wallet. He wasn't there to fucking kill nobody. But like, he was literally throwing chairs at both of us. He like he like it, it was like the electric shit coming out, like sparks, huh. and he's trying to stab me and Bobby with it. Hmm. Before it came unplugged, at least. Okay. And like, uh, yeah, I, I, like I feel like I. I I was crying so freaking hard. I couldn't, even, I couldn't even breathe. Almost died in the back of a cop car. I was, there was no air, cool air. I was not outside getting press breathe. The light was on my face that they turned on. Okay. And I was in clothes because I have claustrophobia. Like, I could have died in there. Okay. Like, I have bad claustrophobia. I can't even breathe in that freaking cell. <laughs> like, I could barely breathe. Like, I... Like, I, I Okay. Well, yeah. take take some deep breaths. Yeah, I, I can breathe in here. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. This is enough room. Okay. All right. And I'm talk. I have somebody to talk to, so I'm fine. Does that help? It's just in the cell when I'm with nobody and freaking me knocking on the window and they look at me and pass by and nobody even answers. Okay. Oh, there was only one person in there, and it was with the black chick that called you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sit tight. Just one moment. All right. Okay. Okay. Wait right, one second. Wait one second. You got some free change. You want to pick it up? Yeah, I'll get it later. I'll get it. I saw <laughs> I that. I don't when take we, it. <laughs> I saw that when we came in here. So, well, so. you don't think I'm? I'm not. I don't, I don't know. People are going to criticize me whether I did it to, to help myself or not. But you don't think I'm crazy, right? No, I don't think yeah. I'm crazy. Like, I, like, he was going after both of us, like, we didn't know what to do, like, like, he, we were gonna have, bought, like, I, my cousin had just died from a drive-by, a gang drive-by, he, he wasn't even in the gang, but he was, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, he was like, a little kid, he wasn't being a gang I didn't know he wasn't gang banging, young gang bangers in San Francisco, hmm. San Francisco, but he's not in that. Okay. He's... A, a nerd playing video games all the time type deal, right. but yeah, um, he got killed in the drive-by and um, yeah, and uh, fuck, and I was already going through some shit. I'm not in the right headspace. My mom didn't want to talk to me. She's freaking pissed at me for no reason. The stuff with our Sono, the agency, um, yeah. When what agency are you talking about? It's called Act of Kindness. That's where Al Sharno went through. I, I told them that he, she's been harassing me and threatening me with knives and banging on my door and hitting my wall and, and screaming and whispering underneath his breast, breath and planting knives in my room and calling the cops on me mm. for no for stuff he did. One time he did have a reason to call the cops. That w- that wasn't really my fault. I, was, I had the knife to self harm with and I accidentally cut him in the shoulder. But that was that was some fucked up shit that he pressed charge. I even said it was an accident right afterwards. He was just trying to figure, find a reason to call the cops, so. Okay. But, uh, um, yeah, what is I gotta say? Fuck. Where was, what was I talking about before the cops? You had mentioned your, is it your cousin that was in San Francisco? After that. After that. That your, you and your mom had had, she was upset with you. Oh, yeah, like, she, like, she doesn't, she, like, she's never been in my life, like, as a supportive mother, and she's my guardian. It fucking sucks. Does she live in state here with you? In Colorado Springs, but she's Springs. a bitch. She used to tweak, and all of her tweak friends abused me. That's why I don't like bullies. Like, the fuck, I was abused by every one of her tweaker friends. Raped, stabbed. I just got meth shot into me at only eight years old. I could have fucking 
They gotta fucking be laying dead, dead inside a shed or something. Right. Like, but, um, but after that, like, I started hustling and making money, and then I got locked up. Like, I didn't kill anybody for money. Like, I just, like, sold drugs, and I sold guns and stuff, but I was underage, obviously, so they couldn't pin me for the... <laughs> okay. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was a joke, sorry. Right. They're all right. They're all right. Yeah, um, I know, hey, I've, I, this is my first time killing anybody, and I, I, like, I felt bad, but I didn't know when to stop. Okay. Like, I, I, like, I had no control, like, I'm not crazy or nothing, it's just, he's been freaking, but like, I've been having some freaking depression problems and freaking not thinking right up here, and I just got dumped and my cousin dying getting killed and my me losing a bunch of my friends because my facebook guy hacked and somebody cussed them out and shit oh, no. and like i lost a girlfriend to that hacking and um a close girlfriend too and i tried to friend her send her friend request back she didn't accept it he said leave me alone you fucking bitch hmm. or something i don't really remember what she said but i just didn't respond to it after that right. but she thought it was me and it was, i told her it wasn't me i even called her because i had her cell phone number and she blocked that so they said some fucked up shit, like literally true fact shit, but stuff that I had never told them. I don't know how they knew. Huh. Like, they was like hacking posted them on my fucking wall and shit. Nice. But I don't know how the fuck they knew. Like they had to have a hack in my phone calls and shit. Yeah. Was people do that? <clears throat> yeah. And um, what was I gonna say? Uh, what was I gonna say? Where was that? Oh, where, uh, fucking a! I'm a fucking idiot. Well, I'm not an idiot. I just have a guy to sleep for like three days. And no, it's not from tweaking. It's because her soda has been getting crazier and crazier. And I'm, a, like, I'm afraid that if I go to sleep hardcore, knock the fuck out on weed, I'm not going to wake up and he's going to kill, kill me in my sleep. So I had to do something. Okay. Like, and I didn't have a ride. <clears throat> and this seems fucked up, but the only way that everybody was asleep, man. I, w I was going to call the cops after it happened, but I was scared. Yeah. Hey, Brad. Hello? Hi. Hi. My name's Ed Lauren with the Raffle County Sheriff's okay. Office. I'm going to be talking to you today. Okay. okay. This is my... Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. This is my interview where I was... I'll talk to both of you. Okay. I, well, Actually, you and I kind of were already met investigating. Yeah, I met her. Hi. How are you? She's going to be... I'm better and I'm not as panicky now. I'm talking normal. Good. Okay. You good? And he doesn't think I'm crazy. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go get you a glass of water. Okay. Wait, can we take this off now? He said when something gets in here, we can take them off. Same rules as last time? Yeah. I just sit down with my pants. Well, you got them in front. You good? Yeah, no. I didn't, so just want to drink my water. At least one of them. Oh, right, right. That's the problem. I can have one of them on. Well, that would come off anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I, had, I didn't think about that. <clears throat> Unless you just handcuff this to this. That makes sense. Wouldn't it? One hand. Uh, let's just let's leave the handcuffs where they are for now. Um, sorry, I was joking. Okay. Sorry. No, that's cool. Go ahead and just get started. Um, I know. I know this is nothing to joke about, but I think I, I, you didn't like. Yeah, I'll, okay, Brad. I, I'm here to talk to you about what happened, and uh, I want to get everybody's side of the story. Yes. Right. Okay. So. In order for me to ask you questions about what happened, though, and clear things up, I'm going to need to advise you of your rights again. Okay? Yes. You've been advised of your rights yes, I know. so far today, right? Yes. Okay. Twice. Actually, okay. yeah, twice today. Okay. Um, you have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before your questioning and to have a lawyer present with you during any questioning. Yeah. you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. If you want a lawyer but cannot afford to hire a lawyer, a lawyer will be appointed by a court to represent you before your questioning and to be with you during any questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. If you decide to start answering questions, you will still have the right to stop answering questions and also the right to talk to a lawyer at any time. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to try to sign up. Well, just lean forward there. You should be all right. My signature? Yep. Goddamn. 
Yeah, I might have a better symptom than handcuffs. That's weird. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, you signed the wrong thing, but... Oh, I just saw the X. Okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. I know, that is Basically, and... Okay, yeah. here's the second part of this. Just, I understand my above rights, and I know what I am doing. I agree to answer questions. I do not want a lawyer at this time. Is that... Yes. Okay. And just give me a signature here that you understand all of those rights. Okay, so same rules as last time, right? Yeah. You're cool with me, I'm cool with you? Yeah. All right. And I'm not really loopy. I'm still, I am hella loopy if I'm not going to sleep, but I'm not like going to cry every five seconds and you all can't right, understand so let me. This one goes, go ahead and put that on your head, okay? Okay. Sorry. It didn't hurt. It, I just thought it was going to hurt. That didn't hurt. No. My, my, this hand's still numb. I don't know why. I won't hurt you. This one's been numb. We've been without the hand just for like five, six hours. What time is it now? Oh, uh, I don't even know. Is it like noon? Um, I have no idea what time I mean, it is. Honestly, I don't need but, to run. Yeah. Right now it's well, it's eleven thirty, so it's all almost on. Ah, damn! I was locked up on a steward's cost at the time. That's crazy. It's a, like little. This part of my hand has been numb. Actually, it was over five, six hours. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know what it's from, though. Yeah, it'll go away probably. Yeah. From something being across that tendon. Yeah, it's okay. weird though. But go ahead. There's the water. Okay. So go ahead. And, yeah. Okay, Brad, let's start with uh, who Harsano is. One second. He was the he was my host reminder. Okay. But, but um he's been like I told my agency about this and my mom about this, and both of them said I was full of shit. But my mom has, has a reason to believe I'm not full of shit. Cause I, I have had her sort of lying, but I haven't lied in Besides to get myself out of really deep shit, but I'm telling the, I've been telling the truth since okay. who, 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 well, tell me who he is first. He, his name's Harsono Harsono. He's from Indonesia, and he's a host provider through Act of Kindness. But the agency... Okay. Yeah. And where does he live? Does, does he, he live with you? He, he's not alive anymore. What makes you think that? I don't know. He wasn't. He was. He was on the ground, and there was blood everywhere. Okay. Uh, that's where I'm trying to get to that. Okay. Yeah. Like he's been being really aggressive, and like he's pulled, held a knife to my throat like five or six times in the last month and a half, maybe. Yeah, month and a half. Cause I haven't really been there. Like, not much more than two and a half months. So um. Uh, okay. So what? <clears throat> what? What prompted tonight's incident? What happened? Like he he was like uh, my cousin died. In a, he wasn't in a gang, but he was he was in the wrong place at the wrong time in San Francisco, and there was a drive-by gang shooting, and he was in the middle of the way, and he was they didn't want any witnesses, so they killed him. And um, I got a call like before I went to Arizona's house, when I was still at the bar, like I was already not like like and, and I came back. That, that's not the reason I killed Arsono. Or if he's alive or dead, I was doing it out of self-defense. Like he's been hold, holding nice to me. He bangs on my door. What happened tonight that made this self-defense? He was he he was he picked up a chair, was looking at me and Bobby, at, like before it happened. Like I was asking her, when we were still in the car. Uh, Bobby wanted to talk to me about what, what happened because he saw me breaking down, crying. I was already crying before all this happened. And um, uh, and Bobby wanted me to us to talk to, with Harsono because Bobby was supposed to be moving into the house to make sure that stuff doesn't happen and make sure he's my witness. Okay, why is he assaulting you? Why did why last night did he pick the chair up and threaten you with it? I don't know. Like I was I was making I was getting juice for me and Bobby because Bobby left his wallet at the house, and he, he's, he's like he's like he's like you fucked up, and he was like. And his, I don't really know what he said, and he was like talking Indonesian or some shit. I don't understand that language unless they're saying actual people's names, and then they say 
Yeah, it, then they say the actual name. Okay. But yeah, but yeah, what I'm trying to say, and like he started picking up the chair and he threw it at me. He was looking at, and then I, then he picked it up again. I charged him and Bob went down the hall because he didn't want to get hurt. So I charged, I was trying to save Bobby and myself. I charged down, I pushed him down with the chair and he, he, he started, I don't did he, he started, did he hit you with the chair? He hit me, oh wait. That that was that was both the chair hit me and it also pushed my elbow into the wall. I don't remember which bruise is from the wall and which bruise is from the chair, but if you can tell that looks like and then the, the little stem that, from the chair. That's from where he hit you with the chair. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I think it's all from the chair. I don't even know if it's part of it's from the wall, but okay. So and then he, that scraped me too. So he hit you with a chair, and then what happened? And then, then I, then I, he tried to pick up the chair again. I charged him, I pushed him down, <clears throat> and, I, and I started. I wasn't trying to kill him. I wasn't going straight for that. I was trying to choke him with the chair. Mm -hmm. And then he pushed it off and tried to charge at me, like jump up. And then I pushed him over and started hitting him with. My hand was already hurting from punching a pole. For not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. I wasn't like mad or nothing. I was high and trying to impress the ladies, but like and I was rapping and they thought I was retarded. But uh, um, I don't really know if they thought I was retarded. But people are, yeah. Um, uh, um, but I punched the pole and I. That's what. That's why that was bruised. That mm -hmm. I, this is probably mostly dirt now. Mm -hmm. It's not. It, it, yeah, that's probably dirt. But there, it was bruised all the way up here, and I had a slant and. Before we got there, Bobby had to go to the bathroom. I mean, there was no bathroom anywhere near by the bus stop, so I just let him take a shit right there and use my bandage to wipe that. And okay. After you pushed uh, Harsano down, what, what was Bobby doing? He he was he was in the hallway, and I and then Harsano grabbed the lamp and broke it. And I asked I asked Bobby to come help me. And I didn't want like. I needed help. Like I, I didn't want to. I, I did. At first, I, I let, I made, had him stay in the hallway. I didn't want to get hurt. But then he started going after other things that I didn't really know what he was going to do. So oh. I had to ask. So I had to have Bobby come and be a double person. Like we didn't jump him or anything. Mm -hmm. We just, just in case things go flying, we there's somebody to guard it and somebody to hit him. Okay. Like, what, how, away. Did, how did Bobby help you? Um, but Bobby was Bobby wasn't really there to do any of that. Neither of us were there to do any of that. It just went down. Like, mm -hmm. like it, he started going crazy, and I I don't know if he drinks. I've never really seen him drink, but he always acts like an aggressive drunk all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just from what he was taught in his country or what, but he's always aggressive and like it's. Yeah, it's just, yeah. He's just always aggressive because yeah. he drinks all the time. I, I'm not sure if he drinks, but he always acts like an aggressive drunk. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like slur his words or stumble or nothing. But like he has the besides those side effects, he has every other one. Just getting mad at random times. He then. Why was he mad at you tonight? I don't know. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. He said. He said. I, 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 I'm not even thinking in the right headspace, but. Well, he was talking all mumblish, and he was talking to us, and. Uh, I can't even talk right now. Sorry, I didn't get any sleep for like three days, and I've been on those meds from the hospital. They kept me up. What kind of meds are you on? I haven't. I haven't took my prescription meds, but I took some medicines for anxiety, and they made me high. Do like you know what kind of they are? No, I don't know. Okay. They, I wait. No, I don't. What kind of medicine are you prescribed? I, I take prazodone, Geodon, and Tenex, and that's all. Okay. And are you current on those meds? Did you take them? Yeah, but I didn't take them last night because I, I I wasn't even at the house to take them. Like we, he he he, he did it so fast. Like my like they were, my meds were there, but I didn't even have a chance to get my meds. I was, the reason why I was getting the juice was for my meds. But remember, I said I was getting the juice for me and Bobby. Mm -hmm. He was in the, he was in the bathroom going poop because he's had indigestion problems and was farting all day, farting mm -hmm. up the bus, and like I'm sorry for. Embarrassing him, <laughs> you don't know what he said, what happened with him, but um, he's not gonna know. But shit, um, um, uh, I was like, I was like, oh, fuck. So I'm, I'm uh, okay. Well, uh, tell me this: what have, 
what kind of condition have you been diagnosed with? I have uh, PTSD, bipolar, ADHD, OCD, and developmental, developmental delays. But I'm not like insane or nothing. I don't like bullies. Mm-hmm. Like, I've always been the person that stood up against bullies. Like, no. And when when he like I I didn't go for, I didn't try to hurt him until I seen him trying to charge after Bob. Okay. I wasn't trying to hurt him or well, nothing. He charged. He said he he charged after you with the chair. Yeah. Was that you and Bobby then? Yes, he was there, but he okay. wasn't he wasn't a part of it though. Okay. So and then you pushed him down. Yes. And then what happened then? Um. He, uh, fuck, what happened? Fuck. I don't even remember. I remember some his head getting hit with something, but that's all I remember from that point. And then I remember getting in the car and heading back to the place, and the cops told me to get out of the cop car. and said, get on your knees and get on the ground and put your hands in front of you. That's all I remember. And then me being put in the back of a cop car and almost dying from it. Hmm. Okay. But I, I do remember him being hit over the head while, while he was down. Who who hit him on the head? I don't even remember. I was what, too blacked out. What was he hit on the head with? I think part of a chair, but the chair was already broken. Who hit him with the frying pan? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, he. That, I don't. I think that was me actually because he. Tr- that was. Yeah, yeah, well, that was me. I I just remember that. Okay, you hit him with the frying pan. Yeah, but I didn't do it to kill him or to knock him out. I just hit him. I hit him once. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do. I didn't do it enough. I wasn't trying to kill him. I was just trying to. You, I was like, I don't. It's hard to explain. What I'm hey, when I'm loopy. The injuries he had were pretty substantial to his head area. How yeah. did that happen? I like I said. I he was hit with. You know, there was no marks after the frying pan, but after the other stuff he was hit with, I don't know. I remember him being hit with a part of a little little loop from a chair from when he threw it at me, but that's the only thing that I remember him being hit with. I I left out. I walked out, and, I, and, and that's when we left. That's, he was on the ground covering his head, and and that's and and then all all that all I know is that he started snoring, and and then. I didn't know what what other things hit him or what, but I I, I just remember little, I didn't I wasn't blacked out, but like I was having a severe like manic anxiety attack and like I if but sometimes it blacks out like I'm, I didn't black out like I I didn't kill him because I was blacked out I was like I wasn't like having a mental crazy blackout I was just having a episode okay so mm. who is who is recording this I don't know. There's a Facebook live stream on it. You knew that, right? I said I killed him because I did. Yes, I did. Well, they say that. It was on Facebook. Yes, I did. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't videotape it. Who Who was? Nobody videotaped it. Somebody had to be recording it as a live stream on Facebook, right? No, I didn't videotape. I posted. I posted a post on my on my group, rap group, and I uh-huh. and I and I called my friend, but there was no video. Well, according to what we know, okay, there's a video of this assault or a video of what happened that was posted on Facebook. Was that my Facebook? Yeah. What the? F- I I didn't take a video. I would. Okay. I I I put that across my hope, heart. Hope that I don't even know how that video got on there. Okay. I didn't have my phone on me. I left my phone in the car, plugged if, in. If there was. Uh, Facebook video on this? Whose phone would it be on? Uh, uh, Bobby wasn't videotaping. I wasn't videotaping. It had to have been the witnesses that met up at the scene when the cops were there. Well, this would have happened inside the apartment when this was all going on. So It was only, unless Harsono did it, he was friends with me on Facebook. Unless he was being sketchy or something, but but he, I I, I should have blocked him, but yeah, he, the only reason he sent me a Friend request is I had him send me my haircut through Messenger. That's how I got this haircut. We don't really talk or nothing over there. We, yeah. Okay. My phone wouldn't let me save it, and his phone is was faster than mine. The Metro PCS sucks. Okay. Yeah. How many times do you think you hit Harsano? Once. 
once with the frying pan and um, I left after the second hit. Do you remember you told me this morning that you punched him? Yeah, I punched him, yes. How many times did you punch him? I actually forgot about that. I'm just freaking loop. I punched him when he was on the couch. But that, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, but, yeah. I didn't punch him a whole lot. And I wasn't trying to break my hand, so I wasn't really punching him hard. Cause my hand was already sore. Do you know where you punched him? In his face. If that wasn't, I don't even know where he got the freaking swollen eye. That wasn't from my punches. I wasn't even punching hard. Like, my hands were already sore. Which swollen eye? He, he had a swollen eye. You didn't see that? Okay. I don't know where that came from. It might have came from when he fell, but it, it, it did not come from when we hit him, though. What about the knife? Who cut him with the knife? Wait. There was, there was, there was no knife at the scene. Okay. Was there a knife after the scene? No, what I was trying to say is she's threatened me with knives. Mm -hmm. and nobody cut him with a knife, though. Did a knife come into play at tonight? I didn't even see a knife in there at all. I didn't see a knife when it went in there. Mm -hmm. He just came up with me a chair. Usually it's a knife or something like that. But he, today it was with the chair. Me and Bobby were both there. But I was... I wasn't like Bobby's my bro. I didn't want him to get hurt. Like I was, I was. That's why I told him to go in the side, and I could handle it. And then I, that's when I called him for backup. I didn't, I didn't want him to get hurt. Like I, I don't. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't. Tell me about an incident that happened last April. He got cut with a knife. Oh, that was an accident. I was using that to self harm, and I walked out of my room with him. He was coming to talk to me about like. He made fucking ch chow mein or something like that. And I had the knife out like this. I was going to use it to sell farm. Like cut my freaking wrist or some shit. And it cut his arm like diagonally like that. And the cops got called. And I, they didn't, they, the cops put me in an M1 hold. But the, they, I was thinking clearly. And they took me off the M1 hold. I, didn't, I had to wear my own clothes. But I, they knew I was, that it was an accident. And okay. How long has Harsano been your caregiver? About four months. He's been going on it crazy since like the second week I moved in with him. Okay, so you moved in with him or did he move in with you? I moved in with him. Okay, and and who is this through? It's, it's through Act of Kindness. Okay. And it's a wholesome provider, so it takes take care of people with diagnosis. Okay, if if he's been threatening you... Uh, I told them, I told them, I told them and they thought, they said I was full of shit. And I even told them that watch, you're gonna get shut down because that's against the law. You should fucking investigate that shit. And they and they said no, we're not gonna investigate it. You're full of shit. We're not gonna like what the hell? Like they're, they're just going against my word and like like. Okay. like uh, tell me why why would you keep him as your caregiver? I tried to move, but they said if I move one more time, they're not gonna send me to a hospital. They're gonna put me in a mental hospital. So I was fucked either way. Literally, I was fucked either way. Yeah, I would have had to be in the mental hospital for like six months. And literally, I, I would, okay. yeah, do, you, do you remember telling the officers in Aurora that he was like a father to me? He was like a father to me, but he was a dick. And you said you had a mental breakdown, and you said that you were sorry? I was sorry. I was crying. But you saw me. What were you like, sorry about? I, like, I was sorry for hurting him. And like, I was sorry for doing what I did. I, I knew it was self-defense, but I was like, it was for, I was breaking down. Like, I haven't, like... Okay. Like he was, he was a total asshole. Even though that, but I've never, I've haven't really lived with a whole lot of males to get to know him. So he was like a father to me. Even though he was a total asshole, like I don't, I haven't really had a lot of fatherly figures. You know. Mm -hmm. But, but, but um, if he said he came at you with a chair, you know, <sighs> and then he pushed him down, and then he sustained all these injuries, so. If after you pushed him down, why would you keep hitting him on the head? I don't even know what uh, I was outside, and if there's there was there was videos, I have no clue where those videos even came from. Unless I, I have no, I I don't know where those videos came from. I had my okay. phone off. You said you hit him. Yes, I did hit him. Once, once you knocked the him frying down. pan, I punched him, and the, he got hit with the chairs. But I didn't. I don't know who hit him with the chairs. I I think it was me actually, but that was. But he wasn't—he wasn't knocked out, and I wasn't trying to kill him. But I, uh, my, so was he still fighting you after you knocked him down? Yes, he was trying to grab our legs and swing stuff at us, and trying to get back up and hit us and shit. Like, 
He wasn't like trying. He wasn't like just oh, I'm begging for his life. Like he was actually trying to hurt us still. Like he literally chipped the freaking like. I'm not. I'm sorry. It's a theory called saying that you're going to kill him. When? During when this was happening. I didn't say I was going to kill him. I was, it was. It was. Did Bobby say that? Bobby didn't say it either. Okay. Because I got witnesses saying that they heard somebody saying that. That was when. That was after it had already gone down. But I did. But I. I wasn't even hearing that. Okay. Keep. It's hard to explain because I'm freaking. I'm trying to talk to you, but I. Uh, like, but at that moment, since I was in my mental breakdown, everything that I heard was going one ear out the other. I, I, I was, I was, I was getting my stuff and I was leaving. I, that's all I was doing. And I didn't even get all of it. Like I was just trying to get this. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't like, yeah. You know. Okay. Right as we left, I, I saw the cops speed past, and I knew that was from us. I told Bobby that, and but yeah. Do you drink at all? And no, I don't drink. Were you, you saw, did you smoke marijuana or anything? Yeah, but that, that wouldn't even do it. I always think we marijuana. I never have any of that. Did you smoke marijuana before this happened? I was sober when it happened. You were sober, but did you smoke marijuana like any time before this? Yes, but I, was, I wasn't like high or nothing. Well, how long do you think it was? It was like eight to nine hours before when I smoked weed, or longer. It was out of my system. It doesn't... It, my, I'm big. It hit, Bobby hits him fast and stays in a long time. And mine, it, hit, it hits slow and runs out fast. Okay. Okay, getting back to this uh, Facebook post, if it was on somebody's phone, whose phone would it be on? I, I, I don't know. Until you said there was a video, I had no clue there was a video. Mm-hmm. Well, there had to be something. <clears throat> I posted. I didn't post a video. I posted stuff on Facebook. Like what? I put po- uh, part of my rap group. We go through Facebook mm-hmm. Messenger, and it's called OGR. And I posted stuff. My roommate's dead, and they and they said this better be a joke. And, and I said, "What? Well, he's been putting knives to my throat and all this. He's been going crazy and stuff like that." And then I told my girlfriend. I said, "I said something bad happened, and if I go to jail, just just know I love you." Like I, I know I was. Who's your girlfriend? It was Mary, but I don't, I don't, don't bring her into this. She wasn't part of it at all. I was telling her that if I go to jail, it's, I love her and, yeah. What's what's Mary's last name? Crumb, but I don't. Please don't bring her into this. Yeah. I didn't well, tell. I didn't. I didn't even tell her I killed anybody. I had to hang up, and the cops got there before I could even tell her. All I said was I did something illegal. I never told her I killed anybody. The cops were. Co- scoped in their little flashlights on the window while I was laying on the floorboard. I, I had turned off my phone before I could even call her. Does Mary live here in town? No, she's not even in Colorado. She's from New York, so she had nothing to do with it. Okay. Well, you do know we'll, we'll probably have to end up talking to her, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know her phone number? And not by heart. I don't really. I don't. It's hard to memorize out-of-state phone numbers. Mm-hmm. How did uh, you meet Mary? Over Facebook. On Facebook, so, yeah. okay. Did you ever meet her in person at all? No, but we video chat and call all the time. Okay. So it's not like she's a fake profile. Okay. Like, there's a lot of those on Facebook. Thousands, maybe even millions. So, no, if, if there's anything that could have happened differently tonight, what would that have been that well, you'd want to happen differently? I would have just left with Bobby. And never not come back. But, but he was threatening both of us, and I didn't. Like, what kind? Of, what kind of threats was he making? Like he, I don't really. I I'm not in the right headspace to remember. But like he was talking crazy, like like I don't remember. He was talk. He was cussing at us and yelling, and he was raising his voice. And like I, like in the car, even when I was asking if he could talk to him about talking about my cousin dying, he was like, "Fuck no!" Like, like, like you, you stay home. Like, nah. And he was like, "I'm fuck, and like, I'll take Bob you home." Like, what the fuck? I wanted to talk to all three of you, and he's just being a total dick. And he, and he, um, and then when I got in there, I saw my meds. Like, there's a counter that goes like this, and then goes like this. And then there's the cupboards that, then the oatmeal and cereal. My meds were right on the far side, right across from the pantry, with all the like 
canned fruits and vegetables. No, there wasn't fruits in there. Canned vegetables and beans and stuff. But um, I didn't even get a chance to take my meds. What did you feel like when you were hitting Harsan? I didn't feel happy at all. I felt like shit. Why? The, the, even though it was self-defense, I, I, I'm not a bully. Mm -hmm. I hate bullies. Mm -hmm. And I, like, I don't know. I just don't like it, though. Okay. Well, did you feel uh, sorry at all? I wouldn't be crying my eyes or almost dying in a cop car from crying because of it if I didn't feel sorry. Okay. You weren't nearly over there. No, that's fair. But I was almost dying in a cop car, hyperventilating, sweating, freaking, my, my fucking, from the bruises, and it freaking felt like my elbows fucking breaking because the way I had my handcuffs on and my wrist was freaking swollen, and this part just fucking been all numb for the last hours. Okay. And like, I, I feel terrible. When you were hitting Harsano, what it was it that you were trying to do? I wasn't trying to do anything. I wasn't meaning to, like, putting him out of his misery. Mm -hmm. I, like, I was... I, I just don't like talking about this. And I'm not, I'm not trying to get off of it, but I just... Uh -huh. I just don't want to start crying again. Okay, no, well... It's okay if you do. No, it's understandable. It's 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 a hard thing to to deal with. He was a dick, but he did have his nice sides. Okay. Do you know why you hit him so many times? I don't know. Because he got hit quite a bit. No. Didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't trying to kill him. What were you trying to do? <laughs> were you mad at him? Yes, but I wasn't like trying to kill him or anything. I wasn't like I wasn't like intentionally trying to kill him for being mad. All right. Like I wasn't like coming in for the kill. Like he had weapons up there throwing them at us. Like, like. But you hit him because you're mad at him, though. I was mad at him. Also, I felt threatened. It was a bunch of. I was being threatened. I was mad at him and a bunch of different shit. I was kind of disappointed because he was being a dick after my cousin got shot and killed. Like, like, I, I got, I got disappointed in him, and I wasn't like mad at him. I was kind of irritated that he was kind of getting mad at me about that, but I wasn't mad from it. It was late, and he was tired. Mm -hmm. and he was cranky as hell. Okay. Well, after you pushed him down, do you think that would have stopped him from what he was doing? No, he kept going. He How, wouldn't. He, tell me what he did to keep going. He got back up, and he even after he throwed the chair at Bobby, he start, started to ask, try to ask Bobby for help. Mm -hmm. And why would Bobby help him after he had just threw a chair at him? And you know what I'm saying it does not make sense. And especially since Bobby knows what he does to me, and I've told Bobby, and he, that's the reason why he wanted to move in with me to be a witness. Okay. You mean he was asking Bobby for help after he was down on the after you pushed him down? No, no, no. He that was hard, no. It's hard to explain. Now, I'm not, not saying him asking for help was bad, but he, after he had just threw a chair at Bobby, he was asking for his help. Why was he asking for help? Let me put it that way. I don't know. He was still trying to hit us even after he was asking for help. Do you think that could have been defensive because he was down on the ground? He wasn't down on the ground, though. He was standing up. Okay. He didn't He didn't freaking fall down to the ground until, like, I don't really remember. There was so much shit. What happened to the coffee table? What the, which one? The, it's the long brown one. Uh, uh, I had broken, I was hitting him with it, but I wasn't like, I was, I don't even, I, was, I stopped, bef bef I stopped before he was dead, I mean, before he was even unconscious, and I left out there, and what, what happened while I was got out, that's not me, I left before, I know when to stop, I, I didn't kill him. Okay, do you, do you think that what did happen, do you think that was kind of an overreaction to what ha what he did? He was, what I'm trying to say, I'm not, like, say if somebody hit you three times, wouldn't you have a reason, a right to swing back the first time? 
If he felt threatened. He he hit you three times. No. He held a knife to me, cut me, planted a knife in my room, and told the cops that I, I was planning to get him. Mm-hmm. And, and he was really the one that was trying to get me. And I, that's the reason why, like, I was in Memorial South, not, not by the Memorial South, Aurora South, that whole time because of him making up shit. Mm-hmm. The one time, it, the one time I did go to Aurora South, it wasn't even from this host home. I was dabbing, and I, I would never dab again. I almost killed me, but shit. You were doing what? It was, it was THC, but it wasn't like, with, it wasn't the same day I did, it wasn't. Within it was like months ago, mm-hmm. but I almost died. And like, I was like, where was I going with this? Oh, and that's the only other reason I went to Uber or South was from being high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, I have burped. Uh, but that, that's the only time I only uh, oh, yeah, <clears throat> I can't. I'm not talking, I'm not having a panic attack. It's just burps or burp okay. like when I burp, the bubbles come up out my throat, and then it feels weird. Okay, tell me this, um, why, um, instead of calling for help for Harsano, did you guys just leave? I was going to call him, but, I swear, I was going to call them, but I didn't want to go to jail. Mm-hmm. Like, I was going to call them, like, in the morning, or in, in I was, I was going to call them, trust me. I just didn't want to, like, obviously I'm locked up, even though it is self-defense. But I thought, you know what I'm saying. Okay, well, well, let's say it was self-defense, then why won't you call the cops? I don't know. I I have called the cops on before, but they don't understand them on my... I tried calling the cops on them before, and they don't understand me on my phone. Cause every time I put my phone on, and I either have it on this, or like speaker, they don't hear me. Mm-hmm. I, do, I literally have to fucking call them on Facebook, but you can't do that to the cops. No, that's usually not the way to call the cops, yeah, for sure. Like they don't understand or read I'm saying. They say, sorry, sir, we cannot hear you. You're going to have to repeat yourself and try again. And, like the, and they just hang up after a while. And Arsano started calling the cops when I was calling the cops on him. And they took his story because, yeah, they thought I was prank calling the cops or something. I don't know. But they, they, like, I was calling the cops on him, and he called the cops before. How many times has somebody called the cops from your place? Uh, one, once was from me, that, that one actually did come, that was the one where I walked into her and I actually stabbed him with a knife, and I was trying to cut myself with it, and I would call it the cops because he pushed me into a wall, and I, I had a bruise on my neck, uh, not neck, on um, this arm, but it was, it actually it wasn't a bruise, it was red, but it could have made a huge bruise all the way down here, it didn't, it didn't make a bruise, but, um, uh, what was I gonna say? And um, and I, I I told the cops it was an accident, and they still took me to the hospital. And they then I I told them that it was an accident, and I, it was he was in a, walked into it, and I was trying to put it back that I was wasn't gonna kill myself anymore. That started having better thoughts and stuff. And uh, um, and I actually walked into it, and they took me off the emblem hold and let me wear my own clothes because I wasn't crazy or nothing. If you left the apartment, where'd you guys go? We went to his house. I was sleeping outside. His, his house is. Who's he is a host home. I don't know. I've never been inside there. I don't know the lady. I've never once talked to her. He just moved into there. I talked to his last one, and he, okay. she was, whose house is it? No. It's Bobby's, but Bobby's I don't. house, okay. But I don't know the address. I know. I don't. I've only been there a few times, and it was all in her son's car. Did you go straight there? Yeah. Okay. No, wait, no. We stopped at the gas station. Which gas? Not, it was a corner store by the house, not corner gas station. It was a corner store because, like, we were trying to think because we, even though it was self defense, we we didn't want to go to jail. Like, we had to think. Like, if it was self defense, why would you be afraid of going to jail? Because they're they're gonna they're gonna pin it against you either way. Okay, um, that's why we're talking to you. We want to get your side and understand what happened okay yeah now what you're saying is this of self-defense okay? yes and when you say they were they okay? yeah and we have to Sorry. understand we Sorry. have to understand Sorry. what happened right like I, I i went to the gas station i had glass from the lamp they hit me with i have cup marks in there he threw it at me and i was gushing blood i, I don't really I, I, fuck. when was that it was like it was last night right or, yeah, last night, um, uh, late last night, like, 
Yeah, so you got like eleven something. something, and we were we stopped by the corner store, and I there was a water bottle in a bag, so I I poured it. I washed my hands off, and uh, and um, and then we headed to the house, but we kept missing the spot we were supposed to go to because he was using his phone. And I kept recalculating. Do you turn there? Mm -hmm. it was what store me. did you stop at? We didn't really go in there. We just stopped by there. Okay. We didn't. We no. There was already water bottles in the car. Oh. We just stopped there. Yeah. Okay. So. The, yeah. Here's here's the question again. So. When you were hitting Harsano, what was it that you're trying to do? Were you trying to protect yourself? I was trying to protect myself. Or was and it, Bobby? I wasn't trying to let. You think Bobby it was retaliation at all? Because you were mad at him. No, I wasn't. I, was, I don't bottle on. I don't hold on to my anger. Mm -hmm. I don't. Like, but you were angry then, though, right? Yeah, but I, I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not like to ever get the angry type of person. I'm gonna kill somebody. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to protect myself. Like, I'm, I'm not like. I'm not like a crazy, insane person. I'm gonna piss me off. I'm gonna go flatten your tracks and then. Yeah, and then go slash your throat. I'm not that kind of crazy person. Yeah, I'm not that kind of person. Like, I'm, not, I'm just trying to prove my point. Okay. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I, I was just trying to protect myself. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a, that was probably the wrong thing, weird way to say it. But you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Did you, you push the entertainment center on top of him? No. It broke. He fell into it, mm -hmm. and it fell on him. But it, it, we didn't push it onto him like it was already like we would go, he had gone from the dumpster it was already not sturdy okay well brad just based on my past experience and whatnot and yeah. just looking at harsano's injuries uh, he had there was a lot that happened to him in the way of being hit with things and you know, now, I, pushed into yeah, things i know i know that do you think that was all self-defense I wasn't the one pushing him into stuff. I left outside. Okay. I got but the you, car keys. You hit him the, several times, though, right? Yeah, with the frying pan, I punched him like two, I don't know if it's two or three times, not hard, and I hit him with the broken part of the chair. But he was still up and fighting, and I left. I said, get the car keys, and I'm leaving. Those kind of injuries, when we got there, though, he wasn't, he wasn't moving, so... How could he be up and fighting with, with those kind of injuries? I, I don't know. I left. I I I... I could not deal with that. I, I, I don't know if Bobby killed him, or there was a third person. Because we've been hanging out with people all day mm -hmm. yesterday, so I don't know, like if the how the video got in there. There could have been people out to get us. Freaking, we were, we were, we we're, we we meet new people everywhere we go on the bus. Do you remember what you at told the me mall? this morning though? What what did I tell you? Uh, who who all was on the bus today? We 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 got weed from this one guy. We were gonna pay him back. Right, but who who was riding with you? Just me and Bobby. Okay. And then who went to the apartment with you? Me and Bobby. Okay. All right, and Arsona was waiting out there outside the gate to let us in. Let's talk about what happened mm -hmm. before this incident. You said uh, at some point you had told somebody you'd been at a bar. Yeah, but I wasn't drinking. I even did the breathalyzer deck, and I wasn't drunk. But you told Investigator Mueller. Yes, I did drink, like that much of Jim Bean, but I wasn't drunk. Okay. I, 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 that is not even close to enough to get me drunk. Because when I drink, I yeah, I'm a hard drunk. I don't, I don't, I get. It's hard to get me drunk. I, that much, I'm still sober. Okay. So how long did it? I mean, how long before this were you at the bar? Um, even if it did have any buzz, it would have been out by the time we got before we got to the house. We were at the bus stop for. Like, 40 minutes because we're running late anyway and um so it, i was we were at the bar from i fuck i'm trying to think I, we were there for a little while because we were playing pool and talking and having fun um and which we, bar was this mccarthy's on south smoky on chambers okay yeah but uh what time were you there i'm trying like i'm trying to think so I'm not I'm not trying to freaking sound suspicious. I'm not right. Even yeah, suspicious. Just, we're just trying to put things. Yeah, I'm just thinking loopy, and I haven't got any sleep, and I'm not in. And all this shit is just making me. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to cuss. It's just a habit when I'm not. Yeah. 
Um, uh, we went. Fuck. We went to Center Point around ten. Cause I left the house. Wait, no. No, around 10.30, because we had to go to 9 Mile before we went to Center Point. No, wait. No. We went to 9 Mile, and then we went to Smoky Hill and Chambers, and then we went to Center Point. But they weren't doing the CNC, um, uh, fuck, what's it called? Surveys. They do the scene where you do movies, and or that, like a cigarette or alcohol or like a diet soda thing where you get, like, money through email. And, um, uh, and fuck, what was I going to say? We were there for a little bit. We were, they weren't doing the surveys. So we were walking around. We went to King Supers. I had a little bit of money. I mean, so did Bobby from our Social Security. And, um, uh, and we, this guy was home, home, was barely living, surviving. But I'm, this is the type of person I, I truly am. Like, this guy was barely making it. Like, he was homeless, trying to feed his wife and kids and family. And I, like, I got a bunch of, Yes, I stole it because I ran out of money. But I was doing this. I, yes, I'm telling the truth. I, I did a daily run. That's what we call it. But he, I was doing it to support the homeless. Okay. I, I, was, I think that was a good. Yeah, I, knew, I know I stole it. Okay. That's that's a true. That's a, a, a legal. But I was supporting somebody that really needed it. And to be honest, he bought weed from us. So I don't think he. We were paying him back anyway. Who's he? he? I don't even know his name. Okay. We had just met him. You know, like we, we, and we left him, and then we went. Yeah. We, yeah. Um, but, uh, um, okay, so, yeah. like I said, this, uh, Harsano's injuries are pretty substantial. What do, you, what do you think should happen to somebody that, that inflicted those kind of injuries on somebody? I don't know. Do you think that's something that somebody should be punished for? Yeah, but I, w I wasn't in there when the... I can't think right now. I left to go in the car, though. Mm -hmm. Arsono left his car keys on the counter, not right by my meds, but underneath. I went out there and left. Did he, did he give you permission to use his car? No, but I needed to take space, and I couldn't be in that house. With all that blood and broken shit and all that stuff going on, I couldn't, I was, I was not, I, I just couldn't be in there. And you didn't call the police at all? I was going to. Okay. My phone was dead. I was going to charge it in the car. I was on my phone all day because we were walking all day. Where's your phone now? I, I don't know. The cops have it. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they also have my ID, my wallet, and everything. Okay. Wait, wait I think, no. Do they have my wallet? Do they have to do it? They have, yeah, they have my wallet because they got my ID. Cool. Hey, question for you. Um, yeah? So, I went to your house, and I noticed the bathtub was full of water. Why is the bathtub full of water? Uh, wait, what? I, I, I don't I'm know. Gonna, I take baths and, okay. bath and leave the water in. Okay. When was the last time that you were in the bathtub? I, I've been out and about. I haven't cleaned myself. And like over, like I've been so busy. I, like I, sometimes I forgot to leave the, leave the water out. Harsona lets it out, and he gets all mad about it. But I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to clean myself. Okay. That's why I see my hands. Yeah. I, like I'm not dirty or nothing. I've just been out and about. Not. Hey, we talked about that. You're like. He was just one of the people I told about it. But he's. What did you tell him? I told him that I, I hurt my provider and that I, I don't know if he's going to make it and I left and that was when I had already left and it was at the, his, Bobby's house and I was like he was in critical condition I don't know what happened to him I, was, I left early okay. and I and I then I guess I don't know Bobby must have felt threatened I don't know I have no what clue. do you mean Bobby, Bobby felt threatened okay. I don't know Okay. I, I, I left to go in the car, and I had to have the air conditioner around me. So you told so you told David yeah. that you hurt... I told a bunch of people, but I felt... I was just telling them to let them know that if anything goes down, I'm probably going to jail. I wasn't telling them to brag about it. Okay. I was just telling them this to tell them. Okay. And remember this morning we talked about um, when you were hitting him... Yeah. Um, wow. Do you think you could have stopped earlier? I did stop. That's why I left. Okay. 
Like, once that freaking entertainer center fell off, off of him, I, I started flipping out and I left. I didn't push it on him. He, he ran into it and he hit his head on it. Like the back of his head on it. Okay. And that's when, he, that's when I saw him fall to the ground. There was a bunch of blood coming out. Okay. But, that, that, uh, and, but you threw the And right the before table. I left, I saw him having, having his hands on his head. But other than that, I, that's, after that, I left. I just... How many times did Bobby punch him? If... A few times. Okay. Did it with his fist, or did he did he use something else? His fist. It wasn't like a, yeah, it was his fist. Okay, Brad. Um, yeah. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get some blood samples from you. Okay. Is it to um, match? Well, just to see. But you don't have any We want to see what's in your blood. Okay. okay. I got a. Don't try. Don't have any drugs in there. Right. Right. Well, that. I don't know if the drugs that they gave me at the hospital will pop up, but they gave okay. me some anxiety pills. Okay. Uh, so anyway, basically what it is is we have a search warrant to get your blood. Okay. And I've got a nurse here that's going to go ahead and take your blood. Do you have anything about? Why do we needles? have a warrant? No, no, no. It's a search warrant. It's oh, it's a, it's a search my right. body. It gives us the right to get oh. the blood from you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you do it through my hand? No, nothing. Wait, actually, look. Well, I don't all mine that's on Spain. I've got the nurse right here. Yeah. So we'll do that, and then we'll come back to talking with you. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Hello. Hi. Do you have the blood kit? I don't like needles. I, I can't I get have one in my car. I, I don't have a blood kit. I think so. that would be the fastest. Yeah. Okay. He's yours. Okay. <laughs> I really hate needles, I swear. I understand. I do, too. I do, too. Sorry about that. So, um, while they're going down back down to the car... Um, Want to talk some more? Yeah, we'll just sit here and chat. Uh, so, I'm sorry. I'm trying to picture more, more of the pieces that happened, because I wasn't in the right headspace yet, and I'm still not. But I'm trying to picture more, but it's coming out That's slow funny. and fast and slow and fast. Remember what we talked about this morning? We're working on it, right? Yeah. So, um... You said that um, Bobby hit him with his fist. Yeah. Why did Bobby hit him? Because Bobby felt threatened because he was trying to... He, he threw the chair at him and threw the lamp at him first before me. He threw the chair at me first, but he threw the lamp at him first. Okay, so... And then he pit, and then Bobby threw the, threw the lamp on the ground away from the situation, and then Harsono picked the lamp up again. He, Bobby was trying to stop... The, derail the situation. Okay. He threw it to the side, not at him. Okay. And then Bobby even tried talking to him and said, calm down, bro. Like, like, that, that's all like, I remember. I remember what he was saying. Mm -hmm. He was trying to calm him down, but it wasn't working. Okay. Like, he, like, he tried to use the thing that cops use and all them use where they say, calm down, it's not worth it. Like, <laughs> you don't want to go to jail. So, you know, no, so what else did Bobby hit um, <sighs> personal with? I, I don't know, know but it had to have been... I don't want him being in trouble. I don't want him being in this. No, he's he's already talking too. I just didn't get the opportunity. Did he leave? I don't know. I didn't see him today. Okay. Um, but he's already he's talked to some other detectives. I'm just getting that from you. Yeah, I, I think he hit him with part. I I, I don't really want to stitch him because we're both gangbangers and he's high above me. You're fine. But. But I, I'm not. I don't. I'm not. I didn't kill him because of a gang. I'm just. No. Uh, you, you I'm just trying to get your side of the story. I, 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 not, I got blessed. Then I'm one of the higher ups, and I just got blessed. I never had to kill anybody or nothing. That's why it's my first person I've ever did that to. Never had to do it before. Okay. It wasn't being negative. You know so I'm just trying uh, to put two and two together, kind of getting like the little picture. So um, you had hit him a couple times, and then Bobby hit him a couple times. Yeah. And then you. I was, I was trying to keep Bobby out of it. Okay. I didn't want Bobby to be in trouble. Right. And and we know Bobby hit him. Yeah. So um, I mean, I was, I, even if he did go leave, he'd still have his fingerprints and shit on the evidence to hit him with. Right. So what else did he hit him with? Like I I had like I maybe like I the stuff that the stuff that. Oh, fuck, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get this out. I can't talk. I just keep fucking stuttering. The stuff that was big and did have my evidence on it was me lifting it up off for some though. Okay. The, the heavy stuff. Okay. To make sure his legs weren't broken or nothing. So what What else did Bobby hit him with, though? Because I know he hit him with more than just his fist. Uh, the chair. Um. But I don't... Mm, fuck, I, I, fuck, I, I'm not... 
Okay. Uh, We're doing good together. We're good. I, I, just, I, he's my homie, you know, I have my back, and he's never really... But he, technically, he has dry snitched on me. <laughs> he told he told his girlfriend to hack his Facebook profile they, and just so he could, they wouldn't break up with him. That's some bullshit. But he's had my back on other, other things, so I'm not, I don't hang on. not saying you don't have his back. You're just telling me. Yeah, I don't like I like. Technically, if he doesn't see his side of the story, he's could get he could get in more deep shit. Oh, he did. He did. I just don't. I don't know what he talked to detectives today. Yeah. I just don't know what he said because I haven't talked to those people. Yeah, but if he doesn't say so. what he did, he could be in more deep shit though. So. Even though he's already in probation, but him skipping out on what he did has got to get him in deep, more deep shit than he's already in. I understand. I, I did that, but that was because I was freaking out. So how come you told me this morning something different? Were you just trying to protect him? Yeah, I was trying to protect okay. him. He's my homie. Okay. Yeah, I was I, yeah. Do you think um, Bobby hit him as many times as you did? Um, probably about the same. Okay. But, yeah. How... Did Bobby say that he felt sorry for hitting him, or did... I asked him. He didn't really say anything. So did Bobby have a knife on him? No, Bobby didn't have a knife or a gun. No gun, no knife? There was no knife involved. Okay. Did you guys, um... How, what, what you, what's making you think there was a knife involved? D uh, just what I've heard. Was there so a I knife know. I don't know. I, w I didn't see Harsano. Damn. So, Okay. Um, because he had a knife to me, but he didn't do it today. Okay. He hasn't did it in like two days. Well, actually, yesterday, no, two, three, days. three days. I forgot yesterday is not today. Yeah, three days. Okay. He, he kept saying tonight. That's why I was confused. So I was confused. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll take a minute so she can come get mm. your blood. Hi. Hi. We're back. Oh, is that the needles? How would you like to do this? Just I'll do it set up. Okay, perfect. And uh, do you usually open this or what? What is it thing where you prick your okay. fingers? No. Oh, okay. No. So, oh, I just never seen it. You can look at me while you put the needle box in that way. You don't have to. <laughs> you know what it looks like—a little miniature cracker box. Mm -hmm. Cracker box. Jack's box. I haven't seen one like that in a while, huh? Yeah, I know. I, I, I've never—I wasn't around for those, but I, I remember them. And like, you know what's weird? I was the only one that got this right out of all the older people at the bar. I would have thought some of the way older people that are older than me would have got this. But I know but I know my history and like I didn't really know the answer. But I guess right. If our team would have went with tobacco and like the six, I don't remember seventeen hundreds, sixteen hundreds, eighteen hundreds. <laughs> but they they were talking about early of that, those years. Mm -hmm. Like what was famous in the Cracker Jack boxes at baseball games and it said tobacco. And this I would I would have we would have got that yeah, right one? No, we would have. Yeah, no. Who would have been like five ahead of everybody? Do you sign it or how's that work? Or you uh, it was trivia. After the bar. I get the blood, and you get paid from it. Like you get your certificates or money. That's okay. Cool. Yeah. And then like gift cards and stuff. Gotcha. For bingo, you okay. can get mm -hmm. dollar like five dollars off like a, a, your meal or like uh or you get like there's money bingo where you you can win like everybody's money that they put in in the bar if you get like a. Big, Ah, sorry. Sorry. Y'all ready? All right. Oh, you out of breath? Okay. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> this is what you can eliminate with your voice. Am I, am I yeah. in trouble? Are you, what do you mean? Okay, am I in trouble? Uh, we're working on that. Okay. I'm trying to pick people. Fuck. He's piece by piece of what happened, but I'm right. Well, that's why we're sitting here talking, and that's why we talked this morning. Yeah, we're putting pieces to the puzzle together, right? Yeah. I didn't say anything about Bobby yesterday. He's my homie. I didn't want to say anything about him. I mean, he's always had me on my back and everything. Wow. And I had his back trying to keep him out of the violence, and he kind of had to come in there. Lily, he had the chair literally aiming at my head. I don't. So okay, so we're gonna just need a quick picture right there. here. But I, I don't know. signature. Oh, my uh, damn! Put the wrong. <laughs> I had to put Brad, Brad both times. <laughs> that would make sense. Sorry. Take no problem. Thank you. Do I sign again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Thanks. Yep. Okay. Ready? Yep. Thanks. Almost know. three on there. No, I didn't do that three. Yeah, I know you didn't. <laughs> okay. okay, so back to when you and I were chatting. Yeah. Oh, hold that thought. Okay. Yeah. What happened? Oh, nothing. We were saying goodbye to the nurse. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh. So, back when we were talking, before the uh, nurse came in, and we were talking about um, Bobby, and uh, you were telling me that Bobby had punched her sorrow. Oh, sorry, keys are poking me. Um, and, he said, and you said he punched him how many times? I don't know. I only saw it twice, two or three times, but I know there was more than that. Okay. Do you think that was with the fist, or do you think that was... It wasn't with the weapon. The... It was with... He hit him with the weapon, but he wasn't punching him. Like he, he only hit him once with a weapon. He hit him, like, four times with his fists. So... Three, you... four times at most. Okay. Now, I, I said two or... Th yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. That was four times at most, though. Do you think that it was four times at most, like, a couple different times that he did that? No, no. It's all at the same time. Okay. And then, so when he hit him with the chair, that's different than punching him in the face. Wait, what? When, when Bobby hit him with the chair? It was at a different time. Okay. Our, he hit him with the chair when our son was already try, trying to attack both of us. Okay. That's when both of us hit him with the chair. Okay. He was trying to attack us. He was, This was before he was asking for help, and this was, was... Did Bobby say he wanted to hurt him? No. No? Okay. Either did I, I didn't want to hurt him. Either did Bobby. Okay. It just kind of happened. Did you make a comment um, before? Or did you get in an argument with Asaro before that you were angry and you may have said, I want to kill you or I, w I want to hurt him? Or no. did you say that to Bobby or to David? I told Bobby that her son had pisses me off. I never told him I was going to kill him or I planned to kill him or I wanted to kill him. I just said that he's been threatening me with knives and I, it's been happening constantly and it and that's the reason why I wanted to come in the house, and, yeah. Okay, were you going to put Hosara in the bathtub after? No, I, I, that was for me taking a bath. Okay. No, that wasn't, I was, I'd take baths and let, leave it in there. And then fucking flies and shit get in there. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I haven't even been in the house lately. Okay. The water was left in there. Barzona doesn't check it until, like, days after it's already been sitting. Okay. And, um... So no knife, no gun. What what all um, did you leave in the in the van? I left my wallet, my goldfish, my funyuns, my backpack. No, the cops took my wallet, my and my phone. I left the funyuns, the snacks practically, and um, what was I gonna say? And the keys to the apartment. So we left. They were all. He was already the keys I had that he gave me, and um, um. The only extra keys we took were the ones from the car, but we already had I had already had keys to the apartment. How many phones do you have? One. You just have one phone. Harsono had one in the car. What What color is your phone? It's like white, it's white, and it has like a silver. It's a It says LG on the back. LG. Yeah. Do you Do you know what Harsaro's is? His is an iPhone, and his was ringing. And I didn't know how to unlock it. So I just turned it off. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know his password, so I couldn't get on it anyway. Do you have a password on your phone? Yeah, but it's encrypted. No Bobby's password, but yeah. Was um, Bobby? Yes, I did post stuff about me doing it, but I never took a video of it. Okay. And if there was a video, I don't know how the hell it got on there because I didn't do it on my phone. I posted stuff, but I never took a video. Was of there it. anybody else in the apartment? Only me and Bobby and Arsono. That's it, huh? Okay. Nobody else. There was nobody outside or nothing, but there was people. I'm supposedly there was people that witnessed it, though that was outside. What they heard the ruckus and and that illegally follow. They were just doing the right thing, but they were illegally following us. Hmm. Okay. They were in my eyes. It wasn't illegal. 
but they technically were illegally and following us. They didn't have a search warrant, and they weren't cops. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, they could have just gave, us, gave them the license plate instead of following us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so yours was an LG. Hasaro's was a iPhone. Yeah. Was there any other um, phones in the car? Bobby had a cool pad, but it... Yeah. What color is Bobby's cool pad? Black, but there wasn't a videotape on his either. Okay. He didn't have his phone on him, neither did I. We left them both in the car. Okay. Um. Oh, no. No, he had his on him, but he was in his pocket. I left mine in the charger in the car. Okay. I forgot. He had his on him, but he didn't take a video, though. You left your phone and the cool pad? No, not, he he had his cool pad with him, and I left my LG uh, sitting in the back seat on a little purple charger port in the back seat uh, charging. Okay. It was on like two percent when I like one or two percent when I turned it on. Okay. Like it was dead. Good deal. Um, when you left the apartment, was Harsano was he was he conscious? Was he awake? Uh, he was conscious. He was snoring. If that means anything, I don't know if they do that before the body shuts down. But he was making snoring noises. Like, mm. like he was literally doing that with his. You no, know, I don't know if that's because he was dead or his body brain shutting down. But he was snoring. He, he was alive when we left. He was alive when you left? Yes, yeah. he was snoring. Okay. He was not dead. Okay. Because he was snoring. I don't know. I, I don't really remember. Like, I just heard him snoring, and yeah, Bobby said he was still making the noises when I was in the car, so. Okay. Why did you guys take your shoes off? I took my shoes off because I didn't want to get arrested because I was stepping all in the blood. Okay. Which color were your shoes? I had the I had the Adidas on. Uh, on. He had his on him. Okay. Why were you afraid of being arrested? Because like, the, there was a, either dead or really hurt guy in there. I had blood on my shoes. I, had, I didn't know that I had blood on my. I knew I had blood on my hands. I didn't know I had blood on my shorts until the cops came. But I knew there was blood on my sho on my right shoe, not my left shoe. But um, and, he, and Bobby. Yeah. Actually, no, there was blood on Bobby's shoes. Because yeah, he, I forgot, he changed it to my shoes, my old shoes. What what kind of your old shoes? Um, they're Levi. What? The Levi. Uh, yeah, I think they're Levi's. Okay. Either, yeah, they're Levi's. He should have came in them. I came without shoes. Okay. Unless he, yeah, I, I don't know. I have no clue. I'm just trying to get out of this shit. I'm not trying to stick in it. I'm telling you everything I know, and I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember fucking everything that's happened. And, I think you're doing great. And I'm not trying to rat Bobby out because he's my bro. But if he doesn't tell his full side of the story and they find out that he had more to do with it than he did, he's gonna be in deep shit. Well, that's that's why we need to hear it from you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's, yeah. What more did he have to do with it besides hitting Harsano four or five times? He hit him with a chair and he punched him a few times and I don't know I don't know what happened to the coffee table. I wasn't there for the coffee. I was there for the coffee table breaking because Harsano fell over that the leg broke off and then I flipped it and then Harsano fell over the black thing. But you know that I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. The entertainment. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, we, yeah, that was what we were going to get for a new TV, but it was all, already falling apart. That's why that was broken. Who was the first one to hit him? I was because he came after us, and I okay. didn't want Bobby getting hurt. I take account, but I was the first one to hit him. Bobby was standing back, keep making sure. Yeah. And then Bobby joined in? or I asked Bobby if he could be my block. Hmm. Like, if he threw something at me, he grabs it or hits it out of the way. So my hands were already hurt. I could break my hands just by, yeah, and yeah. I wasn't. Do, I wasn't doing it like, hey, Bobby. If he throws his, grab him and hit him with it. I didn't. That, no, that's not what I was. That's not what I thought. What I meant. I like, I, like I was trying not to break my knuckles. I didn't need to hit him hard when I punched him. I couldn't have gave him that busted eye up. I wasn't. My knuckles were hurting so bad I couldn't even. Sure, my adrenaline was pumping, but I still couldn't hit. My like my hands would hurt way worse if I hit them hard. Okay. Like, I'm gonna grab a form really quick for your phone. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. What is the form? 
Um, it's just something that says, yes, um, the sheriff's office can go ahead and, and look at your phone like you said we could. Okay. Um, so I'll just have you sign that, and then... Um, yes, and you find, if you find porn on there, it's not mine. My every, friend downloaded it on there, and it's not even my type of porn. Yeah, I'm not worried about anything like that. Yeah, it's not, it's like we're all old enough. Right, right. Um, and then, uh, how old are you? 19, I turned 20 on the 7th. That's why I'm not trying to, trying to fucking get out of this, because I need to be out for my birthday, if I can. Okay. Wait, are you going to school? No, I got expelled in the ninth grade. Because like I said, I don't like bullies. And I put four, I, I, I wasn't like, they, it's hard to explain. I put, ah, fuck. I put four guys in the hospital for gang rape my girlfriend. And all four of them were in critical condition. I did it all by myself. Like, they had a freaking wet rag over her face and a knife to her throat, and they freaking were pulling on her hair and shit. And, like, she, I heard a muffled scream, and I could kind of tell who it was from. I couldn't kind of hear all, who it was from, but I could tell, like, it's hard to explain. Like, I get it. Like, 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 I hear, like, the vibrations of the sound, and I hear it. Like, that's how I knew Bobby was talking about that shit and saying everything was going on because I could hear him from in the cell and I could hear him from the next room over. That's why I asked if he was here. What state do we live in? Colorado. Nice. Who's the president? Oh, uh, fucking Donald Trump. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say A big it. fan, huh? No. And I wouldn't, I'm not a friend of Hillary either. <laughs> I'm not really a presidential fan. They've, they're all Illuminati narcissists. Gotcha. All right, I have nothing me, against Illuminati. I'm just open. saying, if you look up a Tanamuli backwards, I mean Illuminati backwards, a Tanamuli, that's the NSA government. Did you, know, did you know that? If you look up Illuminati backwards, it'll pop up NSA Gov. I, I went on the official website and I looked up Illuminati and said, sorry, no results found. Like, bullshit. Hmm. I was just joking around one day. Yeah. I saw it on YouTube and I looked it up and it was real. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't vote for Trump? What? Who'd you vote for? I wouldn't have voted. For, I would. I would have voted for Trump before Hillary, but I would if if I I didn't vote. I just stayed my happy ass at home. Mm -hmm. I watched elections at the freaking oh, what was it? Twenty four hour fitness in the hot tub, and I didn't vote. Oh well. Well. I, and even if freaking Obama did have a third time to be a president. I would have voted, wouldn't have voted for him either. I would have voted for D's nuts a few years back before I voted for any of them. Mm -hmm. For a fucking kid who is smart. Even though he made a joke, D's nuts. But you got, you got to admit, for a young, how young he was, he was actually smart. Yeah. He got votes. Yeah. For just being like a teenager. You follow politics pretty good, huh? Yeah, I do. I, I know a lot about the government. I know, like, I'm smart. People think I'm stupid, but like, like, I've always wanted to be a part of the government, even though I hate the government. I got, like, parts of the government. I don't hate all of the government. Yeah. This part of it. I've never wanted to work in, like, Social Security because people get ripped off from this shit all the time. I wouldn't want to work in food stamps and shit because that shit gets ripped off all the time. Or Medicaid. Yeah. Nothing like that. Like, I used to want to be a cop, but I don't think I could be that now after what happened. But it's self-defense. Cops use self-defense every day. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and it's not against the law. So I, I, I couldn't be a military person with that. But they say, oh, he's gonna do it every time out of self defense. He's gonna snap one day. Hmm. He already has PTSD. Hmm. <laughs> he's gotta go shooting up like the Taliban. Hombre. Give me my chinchilla. <laughs> you try to get in the military. No, I can't be in the military. I, it's because of my di I want to be mm -hmm. because my diagnosis is I can't. Mm -hmm. Kind of fucked me over with doctors' diagnosis. Why the PTSD has been since I was younger, so they obviously wouldn't let me in there. I just so what works. So what, are you comfortable right there? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and fill out this good stuff. Your phone like, number and I, and then. Uh, I I have a what? So I used to want to be a cop or a fireman or something. Wait, what do I do? So the make of it, and it was but it was just because I wasn't in the right headspace, and I wasn't, I wasn't like saying the joke around. I was saying it 
that warn people, not warn people, but like happen. tell them that if I get, I always self defense, but I was just telling you if I go to jail, that I won't be able to talk to him for a while. That's what. Gotcha. But however long it takes. Yeah. For, yeah. The thing is, once um, the cops took it off and there's no password, but they they hacked into my phone. Okay, that you've been uh, informed of your constitutional rights and uh, of not to have a search made of your mobile device without a search warrant and my right to refuse consent to search. Uh, you're authorizing Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office us to, con uh, to conduct and complete a complete search of my mobile device. And so you give consent for that, correct? Yeah. Okay, so that's all the stuff. And then if there's anything that shouldn't be in there, they'll get rid of it. Yeah. Um, so it's there. And if you're good with that, go ahead and give me an autograph right there. Okay. Damn, I don't even know if I can write this one. My hand's all sweaty, my hands are shaking. Look at that. Yeah. I'm going to shake this order. And since I have nerves and shit and that being in... I'm not really nervous because we're being cool now talking. But like I, like I have nerves because I was in... Just getting asked questions like this makes me nervous. Definitely. It's not It's not like I have a reason... Like a, I, I don't know. It's just... Getting asked questions, period, it gets me nervous. Like, say you ask if I, even without being in the police station, say, have you done drugs anytime, sir, at the hospital? Like, no, we's not a drug. <laughs> God made it. Technically, God did make it. Then after that, it was being made. Perfect. Oh, um, Thank you. Yeah. Do I have else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Oh, you know what? Do you do a cursive signature? Is that your signature? I could do a cursive signature. You want to give me a cursive one? Let's see how good your it cursive might, is. It might suck, though. That's all right. It's okay. No, it's okay. Ah, oh, fuck. You're doing good. I guess I'm... I can read it. Uh, like, I can't really, like, I don't know. Okay, so, mm, God, that sucks. I don't I can read it better than some people's here. Ah, fuck. Ah. Ah, fuck. No. That sucks. All right, let's go. Perfect. I totally gypped that. That sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah any questions really like have you been sexually active am I, am I supposed to answer that appropriately <laughs> right <laughs> okay um, like I, I fucked your wife last night is that appropriate <laughs> I'm just kidding All right, I, was like, I had to make a joke sorry go ahead and hang here for two seconds and then um, I'll be right back with you okay. alright buddy thank you so I'm just trying to give you people a laugh I, I know you kind of have a rough job so I try to make you have a laugh Alright, uh, I'll be right back. Ah. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Where in the... Bro, I look like a fucking rat. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Fucking hell, I look like a fucking rat. <laughs> oh shit. This fucking ID's funny. I swear. It looks like a fucking. Does it really look like me? Or is it like the fucking one where they make me look like the biggest tweaker on the planet picture? I don't know if this really looks like me or what. <laughs> or if I could really use this. Nah, I couldn't do that. Do it. 
Oh, you're ready. I look like a freaking tweaker. No. Oh, we're, Do you want more water before yeah. we go? Are we going back? Uh, I don't know. Bro, look at that pic. My face are all swollen in tears. Ah. Oh, shit. Um, might be a minute, so. Yeah. Are we going okay. back? Um, I don't know if they're going to, somebody, anybody else going to talk to you or not. Damn, I don't want to go back in the cell. He's like, aww. Okay. Um, nope, just hang tight. Okay. We'll see if he needs anything else from you. Okay. Okay. Am I doing good? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think. I just can't think right now because I, I mean, every time I try, I think I say, the, say something else and get distracted on my own words. It's okay. Yeah. You know, nope, you're doing good. Uh, the Advent really fucked me up and then I'm getting tired and loopy from not sleeping from the van mm -hmm. and I didn't have my meds to help me sleep and plus I had weed from hours before so I was yeah there's a bunch of <laughs> stuff yeah. stuff all right I'll be right back yeah oh I have to, oh, more water actually you were talking about that yep. sorry I forgot well all right yeah all right I'll be right back okay what the hell what's on the wait what what I could have swore it was on the other side. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Oh. Fuck. Ah, you ain't got nothing. Nothing to say. I think you're getting the coldest water in the county, buddy. Uh -uh. Yeah. You awesome. ain't got nothing on me, right? You ain't got something to say. Oh, no, no, fuck. Fuck. My fucking hand! That's so fucking annoying. Haha, I came up with another question for you. Sorry, it's fucking annoying on my hand. It's still numb. I hate it. Yeah, you'd be good. I, I, I thought that was from the, from like the meds they gave me yesterday, but no, it's, I, it's, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't even at the freaking apartment when it went numb, though. I, I didn't hit about anything in the pop car for it to go numb unless it was the like handcuff pushing it. It could be. Uh, yeah, it'll go away. It'll hey, go away. Um, Brad, what, what is your Facebook name under? Uh, you, you can. You, it's right on there when you go on Facebook. You just. It's, you don't Is it Brad to, Baker? Brad the Rapper Baker. Brad the Rapper Baker. You don't have to sign in or anything. It's already signed in. Would you care if I looked at your Facebook page? Yes, you can look. You probably see a bunch of stuff of arguments and stuff. But you also see my rap group called OGR. What, what's your password for the. It's already signed in. I didn't sign out. You don't have to sign but in. But if I wanted to get at it some other way or if I lost the, the sign in, what would it be? Like, Okay. Well, all the same, all all lowercase. All I'm lowercase. Trying to say. Okay. See. Not not a mixture of both. Was I was trying to say no, but no up or no lower, but that came out totally wrong. Okay. You get what I'm so saying. So you, no. you told. Um, I didn't tell Mary what happened. No, no. You told David, and then your your uh, rap group. Yeah, they they I they said that better be a joke, and I told them it was a joke, but I felt bad for saying it was a joke because I lied to my fam. They're practically like family that took me in, but I felt even worse telling them what I did. Okay, did you put it on any other social media account? No, I don't have a Twitter account. I don't have a Snapchat. I had a Twitter account, a Snapchat, and Instagram, and all that shit. But I had to delete it to reinstall, update Facebook and Messenger, and to put music on my phone. Okay, so you don't use those anymore? No, but I'm going to re-download them, but no, not, no, I'm not. I didn't put anything on them, no. When was the last time that you used Instagram and all that stuff? Instagram was about a month ago. Twitter was about two and a half weeks ago when I made I don't know, when I was on my official OGR twi Twitter that I made out of my old Twitter and it started gaining hella followers. Okay. You know. Cool. Yeah. I, well. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but I haven't used them in, in a while. Okay. Cool. Go ahead and hang out for a minute, buddy. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Damn. I'm gonna go ahead. Tell you what, I'm gonna uh, take you back over with me. I don't, I don't want to go back in a cell. I got well, I can't keep you over here. I got to take you over there, and then you'll probably get uh, put down into housing here pretty soon, I would imagine. So that way you don't have to be in a cell. Why would I have to go in a pod? What's that? Why would I have to go in a pod? You know, I'm not sure. You'll have to talk to classifications, probably. 
and then they'll kind of figure out. Can't just go on the streets? No, they got to. They probably have to talk to you a little bit more over there. Well, if, oh, if, they, if they feel like I'm safe to go, can I? Uh, that'll be up to them. Okay, I'm gonna drink the rest of this water. Okay. No worries. Go right ahead. Uh, I just, I'm not in the right mindset to be with a bunch of pod members. Okay. okay. What I'm trying to say is, if I left and just got some sleep somewhere, not not in jail or shit, I'd be thinking way clearer than I am now, but I'd have to get meds. Okay. Okay. Do you know what medications you take? Like I, like I'm, I, like, thought, like I, I'm, I'm, um, I take Giron, Trazodone, and Tenex. In jail, I get paranoid. Like I have thoughts be rushed into my head. And I've been locked in mental asylums and shit. So when you, when you go over there uh, and the nurse comes to see you, make sure you tell her all that, okay? Yeah. About yeah. what? That you get paranoid in jail. Yeah. yeah, and I go crazy, and I like, like, yeah, like I start like I'm. I don't necessarily look for a way to escape, but I try to ask people if they know how. <laughs> like if I were the one that was escape route. Fair yeah. enough. Go ahead and hold your hands out like that. And I actually have went a wall from Judy before. I and, got, and got away with it, but it was on pass. Right. They actually, they actually had pass and everything. That's cool. Huh. How old were you? How long was that? Uh, I got framed for some shit. There you go. I didn't even do. Now that I know I didn't do. Okay. I'm not a rapist. I was in a group home with a bunch of retarded people. And like this, like, this kid named Nathan, he's not a kid. He was 15, I was like 16 at the time, maybe. Yeah, 16 or 17. But he said he was going to rape my sister when he went to Skate City next. He, was high, he wasn't low functioning or anything. He was hella high functioning. Hmm. He knew what all that stuff was, and I said, how would he feel like if all of his retarded sisters got raped, all three of them? And I, and I fucking said, they tried me for rape for some, like some fucking shit that wasn't even, like, I didn't do. Right. Like, I got put in juvie for, like, a month and a half, and got put in a treatment center afterwards. That's some bullshit. Huh. Wasn't that, wasn't that, like, that was good. I don't even like guys, there's a thing, I have a thing, thing against guys, I know the guy that they said I did that to. Hmm. I've never liked guys, like, I, have a, I don't want a problem with you, I'm just saying, like, I'm just, I'm straight, and I, most of the times when I get in arguments it's with guys, unless it's like about relationships and shit, and they're paranoid. Right. Like, I've literally had chicks try to kill themselves because they'd be, because I wouldn't talk to them and shit, no, no. and they're like crazy. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay, I'm doing this. Yep, go ahead. That's talent right That's there. pretty good. Perfect. Andy, give us a score. Score like Jordan. No, 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 not Jordan. I'm scoring like Stephen Curry. There you go. Jordan sucks. There you go. And All Stephen right. Curry beats LeBron's ass every time. Every time. Warriors. I was actually watching a Warriors game at the bar yesterday. Oh, yeah? Before I left. I was with Harry and Miles. Bob. Bob Bob. Police found Brad Baker the next morning in Harsano's van parked on a residential street, covered in dried blood. He was arrested, and Bobby Chapman was arrested at a nearby household. Now, this was not a high-profile case, so information was limited. From everything I can tell, Bobby Chapman was convicted of multiple crimes in this matter and sentenced in May of 2022. He is serving a 40-year and an 8-year sentence, and he is scheduled to be released in February of 2065. Sadly, I could not find the information on exactly what his charges were, but I am assuming that they were for second-degree murder and aggravated robbery. Brad Baker pleaded guilty on August 29, 2019 to one count of second-degree murder and one count of aggravated robbery. Additional charges against him were dismissed as part of his plea agreement. Arapahoe County District Court Judge Ben Lutweiler noted the tremendously aggravated nature of this crime, and he imposed the maximum sentence permitted under the plea agreement, which was 48 years. Baker is scheduled to be released in August of 2064. Thank you all so much for watching. We have a lot more on the way, so make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.